my YouTube channel. My name is Manuel, and today, I've already filmed this video, I don't know why this keeps happening to me, this second I get like serious about YouTube, my camera decides to stop working so my video files could not be transferred. So my video files could not be transferred, I just had to check if the camera was in focus, it was not. Um, I did the entire face of makeup, and for some reason it just didn't record, I couldn't transfer it, um, the mic was off, and I still, as you can see, am not in the best shape to do this video because I still haven't put my earrings in, so there's that. Um, but yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel, I guess. So, today we are doing a full-faced review, I don't know if you guys noticed I put my earrings in, a full face review of Miss Rose. Now I know that when I um, search for these, I typically don't see like tempered products I want to get my hands on in these reviews and stuff like that. So um, I'm trying to put as many products as I can into one video. So I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face and I'm using the CeraVe um, AM Moisturizing Lotion and I'm just going to like put that all over my face and this is one of my favorites because it has SPF and also it is not oil based, it is water based. So that means it's not going to clog your pores and since I have a real acne issue, um, you guys can probably tell, um, that way this does not mix with the sebum that my skin naturally produces. And yeah, it's, it's great. It also really helps in the dryness and yeah. So this is not a Miss Rose product, but I just thought I should put you guys onto it because if you guys are like, oh, I don't know if I should be investing in CeraVe, um, you should. It's a great, great, I was about to say exfoliant, lotion, and it genuinely works. My skin would be super duper dry. Um, my T-zone is super oily, and then the rest of my skin is super dry, and this is the only one that kind of balances both of them out. Okay, so I am starting off with the brows, and... For the brows, I actually have quite a few products, um, and I'm going to be starting off with the things that I don't like, and those are going to be this. This is the eyebrow powder and eyebrow cream kit by Miss Rose, and this is in the shade number two, and I thought this was the darkest shade on the website, but the thing is, they don't really have swatches and stuff um, on any of their Miss Rose websites, and it's super hard to tell which shade is yours, so... There's that. Um, other than that, it comes with two brow powders and one brow pomade. And let me just test these on the back of my hand to show you that unless you're like a natural blonde, which there are very few of in Pakistan, this is not going to be ideal for you. And they're not even a cool tone because when you want a brow product, you want it to be cool tone. And here is the pomade sort of cream gel thing. So those are the swatches for all three of them, the pomade gel cream thing, the eyeshadow powders, and they're just not my favorite. They come with this little flimsy brush type thing which has the eyeshadow applicator thing on the end, and um, how are you going to use a brush so thick and flimsy to do your eyebrows? I don't know, it's not on me, and the eyebrow applicator, not for eyebrows, but you guys should keep that because they're really good for applying like pressed glitters and stuff. So this I would not recommend, and moving on to the next eyebrow product. I love this. Um, this is the Miss the Miss Rose just eyebrow pencil. I guess they don't two in one eyebrow pencil. So they have a pencil on one side, and unfortunately, I love this so much that I've run out of this. So you just like it's like the Anastasia pencils. You just twist it and it comes up. And then they have a spoolie or a brush on the other side. So this is amazing. Uh, I definitely recommend. Again, it's a little hard to find what shade you're gonna be. I just I believe I picked three. Yes, it says three over here on the lid. Um, I picked three, and they're nice and cool toned shade because your eyebrows are not supposed to be warm. They are cool toned. So the next thing that I have is their two-in-one eyebrow pencil. Um, this comes with a sharpener, and this is the shade number four. This is a little more warm toned, but it's still it, like it's it's somewhere neutral toned. It's not like super warm toned. It's not super cool toned. Um, so it's a good product and it stays in your eyebrows and it doesn't pull on them when you're applying it because I know a lot of eyebrow products can be super waxy and they can tug on your eyebrows and then they can like fall out and I already have like five eyebrows in total. So um, 
this is good for that, it's not super waxy. And then the next things that I have are actually things that I really like, and these are the Miss Rose Brow Pomades. And they come in three variants. So from number two to number five, I believe they have a number six too. I'm not sure. But it actually goes from that side to this side. So this is the lightest, number five is the lightest, number three is in the middle, and number two is the darkest. Number two is ebony, three is medium brown, and five is ash brown. And let me tell you, those names are way off. <laughs> it's nowhere near ash brown, but it just about works on my my eyebrows. So if you are in blonde, I would recommend you go for the powder kit. And if you have my type of really dark hair, then I would definitely suggest you go for this ash brown number five kit. So the thing is, I accidentally left these open. All three of them, I think I was swatching them or something, and I needed something to bring them back to life with. So let me show you guys here. Um, when I swatch it just like that, Like, it's okay. No, it's not. You can barely see anything. So, over there again, it barely swatches. So, I'm just like, I need some kind of a makeup sealing, a makeup fixer. Something like Inglos Duralene, which is for 4,000 rupees now. I used to have one and my maid stole it. Good for me, I guess. And, yeah, that, um, I'm like, okay, let's see if we have a replacement for that. So, I bought this. This is the Miss Rose Fixer Liquid 10 milliliters. And, you guys, I hate it. Like, I will show you guys right now what I just take like a drop and I drop it. Oh, it already dropped. And it has this like really thick liquid consistency and it just does not dry at all. Like, at all. Not a single bit. Like, you put this in your product and it's supposed to be for like gels and creams and stuff, right? But then they just never dry down. So, you will see that my product will start working again. It will. Um, so, this is how it was before. And this is how it is after. Like, it works again. That's It definitely works. But this just will never dry down. Like, at the end of the video, I will touch this. And you guys will be like, if I have this, if I don't have other swatches on at the end of the video, I'll touch this and I'll probably touch my eyebrows. And they will still budge. They will still budge. And it's really unfortunate. Because I wanted this to work. I did not want to pay 4,000 rupees for that product. When I first bought it, it was for 1,000 rupees. And we were like, that's super expensive. And now it's 4000 and I still can't afford that. So, yeah. Just how fast the time changes. Am I right, One Direction fans? So, I'm going to start uh, applying my eyebrows. And I'm going to start with my bad eyebrow. So, my left side is my bad eyebrow side. Because I typically, you know, you start... I'm a, right, I'm a righty. So, I start with my right. Um, and that's how it's hard for you to match both sides. So, I'm going to start with my arch. So you start with your bad brow because it's easier to match up your good brow to your bad brow then instead of your bad brow to your good brow because we all know that is impossible and that's just not going to happen anytime soon. So you start from your arch, fill up the sparse areas, and then I'll show you what to do at the end. So my brows look a little bit crazy right now, or a lot of bit crazy right now, and that's okay, we're gonna brush through it, and um, since my eyebrows haven't dried down, and even if yours have dried down, you just take a little bit from your the rest of your brow, and then use your spoolie to brush that too into the start of your eyebrow. So by that, it makes sure you don't have a boxy eyebrow, because it looks really bad if you have like a square, and that's how your eyebrow is starting off, or a circle. So if you just take the product that's already in your eyebrows, and you distribute it evenly with your spoolie, that means you're just gonna have a really nice, faded, even like transition ombre to your brow. And I purposely did my brows a little messy, but also not really, because the Duralene Fixer product is not the best, and it's kind of hard to control because it's thick and it makes the consistency really weird and watery and oily, but it's not oily. It's bad, is what I'm saying. These are their concealers. These are their black lid concealers, but they just call them their concealers. And these used to retail for around 150 to 250 rupees. And now they're around maybe 300 to 450 rupees because inflation. So I'm just mixing a little bit of beige four and fair on the back of my hand. And I want you guys to see how beautiful the coverage of this is because honestly, gorgeous, glorious, glorious, glorious. 
And then I'm just taking a normal concealer brush, just a flat top over here. Uh, not a flat top, sorry, a flat brush with a rounded top. And I'm going to use that to cut out and carve my eyebrows. So, start with anchoring your finger on your cheek because that makes it a lot easier to have precision. And then I'm going to start at the start. And don't go on top of your brows, try to go underneath, but still cleaning them up. So I don't and look straight, don't tilt your head back or forward because nobody's going to be looking at you like that or like that. I'm just going to bring the rest of whatever concealer is left and I'm going to bring that down onto my eyelid which is going to be used as a base for the makeup or eyeshadow palettes I'm going to be showing you in a bit. So that I have perfectly carved out my eyebrows, at least to my liking. Hope you guys like them too, I guess. I have three Miss Rose eyeshadow palettes to talk about and let me say, Miss Rose does not miss when it comes to eyeshadow palettes except, actually I have four palettes and they missed on one. But like you can already tell which one's like a cheap quality and which one isn't coming off. With the three that I, I really like, the one that I love the most I'm going to be starting off with and that is this Miss Rose 16 color eyeshadow palette. And this is oh, it's heavenly. It is so buttery and creamy and smooth and it blends like a dream. And it's just, it's perfection. They're so pigmented and they literally, it's like, it makes you want to work with makeup. And the color story on this is so pretty. At first I was like, how do I, like, what do I do? But you can make so many looks with this, like, the amount of looks you can do with this. And then, like, the the colors over here, this one and this one. You know how Huda made um, in her new nude palette, which is actually the next one that I'm going to be showing? This one, which is a dupe of the Huda Beauty new nude palette. And you know how she has those, like, pearlescent sort of shades um, in her palette? And you thought they're gonna have like two tones and like a duochrome sort of not maybe not a duochrome but like they'd have a certain different texture. Well, those ones in that palette actually have that texture. And uh, these ones, this is another palette which has beautiful pigmentation and works so well. Uh, they actually did the concealer part over here too. Not my favorite concealer, obviously. Um, not great for priming the lids either. But if you're in a rush and you maybe like don't remember anything to prime your lids with and you don't want to do it with foundation or something then this is a way to go because it is with the palette and it works pretty well. Pigmentation wise, this is great. The darks, the lights, everything blends, blends super smoothly, super nice. And it comes with glitters, um, mattes, a concealer, and also the like pearlescent shades over here. And I don't think I can say enough good stuff about it. And they all have the same names as the Huda Beauty ones. The next palette that I have is a dupe for the Mercury Retrograde palette again by Huda Beauty and it doesn't it doesn't have the same picture type thing on it but you know you can tell it has a little bit of an issue while opening it but um, I forgot to mention the new nude palette has a mirror and this also has a mirror um, and this is just freaking gorgeous like I cannot explain how much I love this palette now one thing if you guys like if you know your makeup then this shade over here is actually a light blue matte in the original Huda palette in this, it is this beautiful, like I actually prefer this, um, it's this beautiful, like, purple, green, pink, white, like, multi-chrome sort of shadow. It's a glitter, it's not a chrome, but it's just so beautiful. Everything about this palette is great. The mirror is surprisingly good quality, and all of the shades are just a dream, except Vortex, which is this dark shade over here not the best and also mercury uh the blue one over here they have little issues to them like they're kind of hard to pick up and they're like slightly harder pressed into the pan but other than that they're like this entire palette 100 percent recommend and i got each of these palettes uh both of these ones were for i think a thousand each but you need to search with uh, which mix rose website you want to get them from because they vary from a thousand to two thousand and this palette i believe was I'm not sure I got this in PR, but I think it was like 800 to 1200 and this is probably the best palette you could ever get. And then the next palette that I have, which is the worst palette I've ever tried in my life, is this Miss Rose like 5 pan palette. Um, and this is number 1, it says over here. I don't recommend this. It's terrible. It's awful. Um, I don't know if you guys can see from there. I will be putting in like, you know, close-ups of this. But I have like been digging into these pans and they just... The pigmentation is awful, like god awful, like I don't, nothing, like nothing came up. <laughs> so don't waste your money on this. I know it seems cheap and you're like, I'm not going to be wasting my money. So if you want to like burn money, 
get that. But other than that, I just totally don't recommend that. So we're actually going to be starting off the eyes using my favorite palette from Miss Rose. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna be using Miss Rose brushes. I'm going to be starting off with this shade right here. And I'm gonna be mixing it in a little bit with this shade over here. And I'm going to be putting that into my crease. I'm just gonna tilt my head back so it's easier for me to see my crease. And I'm gonna start a little bit below the crease. Because if you start right on the crease, then you end up with a shadow that gets way too high and you don't want your shadow to be touching your eyebrows because that's when it looks messy and like you don't know what you're doing. So I'm taking this pencil brush I have from Bailey, which is B-E-I-L-I. -I, and these are some really, really good brushes. And you guys can see I'm holding it from the base, like really close. So I have more precision and more pressure on the brush. So I know exactly where that eyeshadow is going to go. And I'm bringing it right into my inner corner right in the crease and I'm just moving back and forth to disperse that pigment and slightly blend it as well as just depositing the pigment over here. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking just the brown this time or in the crease so we don't want the darker shade to go above the lighter shade. That's what makes a nice blend dye. And I realized with browns and like neutral shades it's always best to not apply way too many of them otherwise it starts looking like muddy. The next shade that I'm going to be using is this one right here and I'm sorry my apologies because they don't have names but this is like a nice beige-ish color and I'm um, just going to blend out the other two eyeshadows that I applied earlier over here and blend that out. So I'm going to start with my brush half on the eyeshadow and half not and I'm going to start from the outer crease and I'm just light motions, light circular motions to make sure that my eyeshadow is blended. My favorite thing about editing and YouTube is you guys have no idea I just had dinner and my dad called me earlier and we had dinner. It's been a good few minutes since I have applied my makeup and by my makeup I mean my foundation and I believe it's time to tell you guys how it stood up. It looks terrible. I don't know why, this foundation recently has not been working. Like it looks super cakey and very like, mm, on my skin. I don't know, like is that my skin's problem? Maybe. It's kind of hard to find shades for like super like lighter skin or uh, even like darker skin. Like medium skin tones, they can find their shade for sure, especially if you are a yellow undertone or a warm undertone. But if you are any other undertone, if you're a pink undertone, I believe they have one shade for that, which is Ivory 6. But other than that, um, not a whole great range of colors. And yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Like, you can see this and then, but the coverage on these are great. Like, you guys saw my dark circles a second ago and you're not going to see them after this. I to line my lips and since I don't have a Miss Rose lip liner, I that the concealer has been on my under my eyes for like a minute or two. Some people say go 10-15 minutes. It's concealer is still going to dry up and then it's going to be really hard for you to blend. So I say don't let it sit more than that. And um, letting your concealer sit for like 2 or 3 minutes the way I just did makes the coverage even better. Um, if you already have a super full coverage foundation, no need to do that. It'll just make it harder to blend. But this foundation, since it's a medium to full coverage foundation, you can let it rest a little bit. Since I just applied my concealer and don't want it to crease, we are going to be going into face powder. So this is the Miss Rose Loose Powder in the shade 11. And my favorite part about this is that it, when it twists up, it comes with a little powder puff, which is so cute. Um, a lot of foundation foundations. A lot of powders nowadays don't come with powder puffs, you have to buy them separate, but I love that this has the powder puff. So I'm just gonna like take some of the excess powder off of it and then like rub it into my hand so I don't have too much. And I'm gonna take the beauty blender that I just used and I'm gonna look up and make sure I don't have any creases that I'm setting. Because once you set like your foundation, your concealer, that's like the point is it's gonna be set, right? So I'm doing it underneath my eyes and on my nose my t-zone. At this point I'm not setting like um, my highlighter area because that's gonna get the highlighter to sit a little more but I'm gonna set like the blush area and around the nose and my forehead and my chin. So most of the face except the highlighter area because I like my foundation to be just, just a tiny bit like tacky when I'm applying um, highlighter because that makes it like pop more. To go into the Miss 
rose blush and this is my favorite blush on earth and the thing is I hate blush so if I say that I love a blush you should understand I love a blush brown blush in Swiss chocolate number nine and you guys it's the perfect shade for like the Pakistani skin tone it's like a nice nude corally peachy terracotta perfect shade I don't know what else to say and I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques brush and dip that into it and swirl it around quite a bit. It's not super duper pigmented, which I love because again, I don't like blush. So if you guys are like big into blush and stuff, uh, I don't know if you want super pigmented blush because you don't want it to be like all there. So I feel like this is just the perfect, perfect pigmentation, texture, consistency, and everything for your blush to look amazing. So like it's not in your face. It's not gonna like punch you. It's not gonna look like you've been punched but it's still gonna give you that beautiful flush of color. Like I actually have two highlighters and one of them is like this, which I believe, if you can tell from the texture on it, the, the marking, that is a dupe of Makeup Revolution. And then there is this, which I can get open without breaking. This is like the uh, dollar, but this is actually a pound sign, but this is like their money or something highlighter, which I believe is a dupe for like the Too Faced highlighters. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take one highlighter on one side and one on the other side. So I'm taking this um, dollar pound highlighter thing in the shade 02, and I'm gonna apply that to my left side. And like Robert Welsh says, you just see where the light naturally hits, and then you apply it there. And it's super subtle, not like, mm, not the most blinding highlighter I've ever seen, to be honest, but it's nice. It's nice. It shows up on camera more than it does in person, so I do not, mm, not my favorite highlighter. On my right side, I'm going to be taking this one with like the wave pattern design thing, and I'm going to be applying that to my right side. And um, instantly what I can see is that this is way too gold for me but it actually is showing up more than the other highlighter which was quite um, hard pressed so i think i like this a bit more maybe find your correct shade in it but other than that it's a it's a really nice highlighter so like oh since i forgot to show you guys the mascara uh i have this other mascara from mysteries but i also think my maid stole that for me so this is the, it doesn't like, it doesn't have a name on it, it's just the gold Miss Rose mascara and it's a really pretty packaging, it's all plastic. Not my favorite, it has a very liquidy consistency, it has a thick wand, thick boy. It's okay if you can't get any other mascara on the planet, like, you know, it. I have very straight and short eyelashes and it, since it's so liquidy, it doesn't really keep them up, but it does like do something like I will show you guys a close up, I guess. If you guys can see that, um, it does something, but it's not enough for me. It's not terrible though. So maybe I do recommend, maybe like you like your eyelashes to look really natural. So if you want like a natural lash sort of thing, this is really good for that. Um, maybe I just judged it too soon because not everyone wants spider lashes. Now I do like spider lashes because I don't have eyelashes, but yeah, that's what it looks like on my eyelashes. It's, it's, not, it's not bad. One of the last things that I have is this. It's just a little Miss Rose shimmering powder, powder puff sort of thing. And it just, it has this puff built into it and you just kind of shake it. And then when you like press it onto your skin, it makes it all glittery and shiny and it's really pretty. And it has a few different shades. So this shade is a little bit dark for my skin, but I got this as a gift with um, one of my orders, I believe. And it's just like really pretty on the skin. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can barely see it. But like out in the sun, on like either something, on your collarbones, like on your neck, on your arms, it looks really, really pretty. A flaw is this Miss Rose Glitter Glue, which I totally don't recommend because the instructions don't make sense. They say brush thin layer onto skin, apply sparkling glitter, small rhinestone or similar accent to gule with brush or fingertips. Press lightly to set, remove with hydro cleanse or soap and water. And the thing is, this just doesn't, it doesn't set. Like, it's very, it's a very watery consistency. Um, and you never just know when it's set, right? So like, even if you like put it on and you keep like pressing it, you, you don't know when it's tacky because it doesn't really get tacky. And then when you get the glitter onto it and you press it on, the glitter sticks to your finger instead because 
I don't know. And it doesn't work with the brush. It just gets your brush all weird and unruly. So I don't really recommend this. But uh, yeah, that I believe that was the review. I see my highlighter looks better now. Uh, many thanks to the makeup fixer, the setting spray. Um, and yeah, an overall review of all of the products is I have a lot of products that I love from Miss Rose. So let's take this. I don't like this on its own, but then like it looks amazing when you set it with setting spray. So this highlighter is great. Um, the eyeshadow palettes, I cannot stop talking about them. They are literally this one for sure. If, you, if you're not going to get any other one, make sure you get this one at least. Uh, the best thing I've ever used in my life, like the best, best, best thing. Uh, the concealers would totally recommend, 10 out of 10. Super great coverage, super inexpensive. They come in a range of shades. You might have to mix it with lighter or darker concealer depending on your skin tone. But these just as is, like sometimes when I don't want, when I know my makeup is not going to be great, or like when I'm having a cakey makeup day, I remove that and I just apply concealer all over my face. And this, oh my god, just this on its own, like as a foundation, it makes your skin so flawless. It just goes on so perfectly. I can't even begin to tell you guys, like you guys need this, like you need this. Like, I don't know how else to say this, you need this. Get this. Amazing. This, um, it depends, I guess, if you're having a good skin day, it can work. If not, it won't work. Right now my skin looks okay. Like. Typically when I wear this, my skin doesn't look super cakey, so I don't know, maybe it's just a skin thing with me today, but this is normally really nice. Um, I would recommend it, but just know it is oily and it's not as matte as it said it's, it is. This foundation over here is almost the exact same as that foundation, it's just slightly lighter coverage, and I thought this gave me more texture, but it gave me the same amount of texture, so I, um, you know, you can get either one of those. I believe the one with the golden lid is a little bit more expensive, so just get the one in the tube. This, I don't know if I haven't made it clear by now, but this is phenomenal, amazing blush. Super blendable, amazing pigment. It's just so pretty. It's just, it's a perfect blush. It's a perfect blush, and this will last you ages. Like, I, I have another one because they sent it to me in PR, but, like, I've been using this one for ages. It's been, like, what, two years now? Um, these are okay. They're good. They're good, actually. But, you know, you need to buy, because it's a gel, it's not its fault. Even if when you get the uh, ABH Brow Pomade, you have to actually like put some kind of makeup fixer or oil or something in it to fix it. So these, otherwise, they work really well. These are really good and I recommend. And um, they have quite a few shades. This, no, just no. Um, this, depending on if you were like sleeveless and like all those like maybe deep necks and stuff. This is really cute for that. Like maybe mix it into an oil or something and it would work really nice. The setting sprays, they, they are both the exact same thing and um, you don't need to get both. One is not matte, one is not um, glowy. They're the same. So they're both kind of just like in, the, in between somewhere. Um, what else do I have? The eyebrow pencil, uh, great, recommend. The dual ended eyebrow thingy. If you guys can find this, it's always sold out. If you guys can find this, please get it because I love it. Like everyone I've put onto it has loved it. And this powder. The powder is okay. Maybe if you can find a translucent, translucent, a translucent shade, um, that would be best because this, again, maybe it's the foundation thing. It does leave, since it has a slight color to it, uh, it does leave your skin just a little bit heavy. Uh, but not super duper. It's not very finely milled powder though. So because of that it is gonna leave just a little bit of texture on your skin um, But if you guys are okay with that and if you set it enough, I believe it goes away So if you guys uh, like that then go for it and since Miss Rose isn't super duper expensive uh, Even with inflation nowadays, it's okay. You know, it, it's not a bad brand. It's a really good brand I haven't had any skin irritation or anything of the sort with it. I haven't had any lips irritation everything was great and um that was my review for today. So if you guys liked today's video, which I filmed for the second or third time, I don't remember anymore because there have been so many issues filming this one. Uh, if you like this, let me know. And if you want more like this, also let me know. And yeah, thank you for watching. It was great being here and I hope you guys got the answers that you needed and the stuff that you like and don't like from Miss Rose. Oh, and the mascara is just... Hmm. Wait, let me just... That's the mascara. So it's not it's not bad. Like see, I, I thought it was bad, but it's not that bad. So if you guys 
liked today's video and see that's my skin zoomed in and you want more stuff like this let me know and make sure to comment subscribe like this video follow me on instagram bear Accords and mono underscore thigh hair and hit the notification bell and i will see you guys very soon in another video